The definition of sufficient statistic confused me a lot when I first encountered it. The idea seemed intuitive, but the formula, the definition, didn't seem to have anything to do with the description. Here's why. A statistic is sufficient for parameter theta if the conditional distribution of the data given u does not depend on theta. That's written that way because it's easier to calculate, but it's completely at odds with the conceptual definition of a statistic is sufficient if you don't have to go back to the data for more information when you're making a prediction about theta. The statistic is sufficient in that way. Those actually say the same thing, though it's not obvious. See, to say that A and B are independent, you can say it three different ways. You can say probability of A and B is probability of A times probability of B, or you can say probability of A given B is probability of A, or likewise with B. The intuitive definition is one of these, and the formal definition is another one of these. They mean the same thing, they just mean independence. But the probability of the parameter given the statistic and the data is just the probability of theta given the statistic. That's the intuitive one. This one says, if you know the sufficient statistic, you don't need the data in order to predict theta. This is another version of the same thing. This is the version they use in the formal definition. The probability of the data given the sufficient statistic in theta is just the probability of the data given the sufficient statistic. Anyway, that gave me a lot of grief when I first was struggling with it, so I thought I'd have this video save you the same trouble. Thanks for watching.